what happened to Krishmar Santoki. Stay tuned, we'll have a look. Before we look at what really happened to Krishmar Santoki, let's just take a, a small trip down memory lane of Santoki's career. So Krishmar Santoki first debuted for Jamaica in the 50 over list A game. It was being played against the West Indies under 19. At the time we had Shamar Brooks and Kuma Banner and those guys being under 19. And Santoki debuted for Jamaica bowling 4 overs, not picking up any wickets but he was very economical, known for 9. So it was a nice little debut for Santoki in 2007. He continued his list A career and he took 17 wickets at an average of 25, strike rate of 39.1, roughly about 7 overs and he was looking fairly decent in list A cricket, but not superb by any stretch of the imagination. But let's backtrack to 2010. Something really nice happened for Santoki in his career. So Ireland they were going to tour the West Indies. And so Santoki got his debut in a warm-up game. Ireland, they were in Jamaica. And so the warm-up game was scheduled at Florence Hall Trelawney. Santoki, playing for Jamaica, picked up 2 for 24 in that game. Where Ireland made 124 all out from their 20 overs. Not too bad, right? 2 for 24. But in that game, let's break down that 2 for 24. Ireland had got off to a flyer. They were 41 for 1 inside 4 overs in the power play. But then Santoki got rid of the dangerous Andre Botha and Alex Cusack to leave the Irish 82 for 6 from 13 overs. That's when Santoki had completed his spell. A magnificent bowling performance from Santoki. And Jamaica did lose that game by 3 runs, scoring 121. But what had happened from that game was that Santoki would definitely catch the eyes of the selectors. And so in the following year, Santoki made his debut for West Indies. So he earned a call up on the back of Jerome Taylor being injured. And so Santoki got to debut against England September 2011 in a T20 series. Now in that T20 series, West Indies batted first in the second game and made 113 for 5 from their 20 overs. Marlon Samuel standing tall scoring 35 not out. But then the man of the moment Santoki took the new ball, got his first T20 wicket, the dangerous Alex Hales. Gone. Santoki picked up 1 for 17 in that match. And boy, West Indies bowled out England for 88 from 17 overs to win by 25 runs. Another debutant was actually the man of the match, Gary Matherin, who pricked up 3 for 9 in 4 overs. Matherin, we'll talk about him later on in another video. But Santoki, he had set the stage, he had pretty much set the platform for West Indies, getting rid of Alex Hales, and he just looked superb with the new, with the new ball. And so, Santoki laid his mark as a T20 bowler, a T20 specialist. Nothing too spectacular about his 50 over list A career so far, but he certainly looked the money for T20 cricket. Unfortunately, Santoki missed out on the 2012 World Cup selection with the likes of Fidel Edwards and Ravi Rampa back into full flow, but Santoki had a chance now with the Caribbean Premier League Finally, it's first edition to take place in 2013. Santoki was the leader of the Guyana Amazon Warriors SEAM attack and Santoki did not disappoint. Santoki was the leading wicket taker of Lima called CPL. Santoki, he was superb, he picked up 16 wickets. Strike rate of 13, average of 13, economy just above 6. Beautiful. That is literally suggesting that every two overs Santoki is picking up a wicket, roughly 2 for 24 per game. Sensational stuff from Krishmar Santoki. Now, Santoki had the best economy and the best strike rate for all the seamers. 
in CPL 2013. Best strike rate, best average. Wonderful stuff by Krishmar Santoki in the power play. Now, Santoki then got recalled to West Indies team in 2014. Of course, having such a strong CPL performance in 2013, why not? And so Santoki made a good return to West Indies team as with familiar foes Ireland he picked up 1 for 12 in 4 overs at an economy of 3. West Indies won that game and then in the series against England he had 4 for 21 and 2 for 27. Santoki, West Indies lead, leading wicket taker in power plays for 2014 home season. All the T20s in that particular year that were in the Caribbean, Santoki was our leading power play bowler. As such, Santoki of course earned a call up to the Mumbai Indians to play IPL 2014. Now we won't really focus on what happened in the IPL, he only played two matches and didn't really do too much damage but Santoki was set to play the 2014 T20 World Cup and Santoki he delivered he went to the World Cup picked up eight wickets averaged 16 strike rate of 14 and an economy below seven he was superb against all oppositions India Australia Bangladesh Sri Lanka he was so good as Santoki assisted West Indies to the semi-finals of the 2014 T20 World Cup. Santoki, he was in such a magnificent form and it didn't stop right there. CPL 2014 in the summer, Santoki continued his brilliant form as he finished second on the tally for most wickets in CPL 2014 just to replicate his form from 2013. So Santoki had improved his wickets to 17 but at a slightly higher economy rate and his average and strike rate just dipped a little bit but it was still a magnificent season for Krishmar Santoki. Now so many articles started going around just describing Santoki as that perfect T20 bowler. Slingy action, left arm, he was just magnificent in 2014. However, we saw a dip in form at the end of 2014 for Krishmar Santoki. New Zealand came to the Caribbean and Santoki only bowled 4 overs in 2 games, 1 for 27 and none for 18 and West Indies drew that series 1 all to New Zealand. With a dip in form at the end of 2014, Santoki was dropped from West Indies T20 squad and so he wasn't selected in 2015. We also saw that Krishmar also went for a lower bid in CPL 2015. Now Santoki was really upset and he said it himself. He's the leading wicket taker and he's so disappointed to not be picked for a higher bid in the draft. Why not? Santoki was dropped from the Guyana Amazon Warriors and picked at a lower bid for the Jamaica Talawas and Santoki used that anger and Santoki replicated it his 2014 form. He finished second in the wickets column again in CPL 2015. Santoki was just having a wonderful run in the Caribbean Premier League, picking up 17 wickets yet again, a strike rate of 15, averaging below 20. Very good performance from Krishmar Santoki. Santoki was also the fastest to 50 CPL wickets but still that was not enough to earn Santoki a call back into the West Indies team and with 2016 having the T20 World Cup to come around in March Santoki announced his international retirement in 2016 of course alongside Tina Bess and Fidel Edwards now we just want to pause right here. Fidel Edwards, we all know, is able to play international cricket because he's no longer a call pack player. But Krishmar Santoki and Tina Bess, they are still in retirement. Oh. Back to Santoki. So Santoki, so Santoki, having announced his international retirement, came back after the World Cup that West Indies had won in 2016 in India. But he just seemed to lose his mojo. 
in 2016 and 2017 playing for the Talawas. He had a combine of 23 wickets, averaging well above 20, and he just didn't look the same. 2018, he went to the Patriots, only 6 wickets, averaging 27, it was awful. And then he went to the St. Lucia Zooks, didn't even play the full season, only picked up 3 wickets, averaging 18. And so we saw a big dip in form from 2013, 2014 and 2015. It may have been that Santoki was just frustrated not to have been selected, having performed so well 2013 through to 2015 and just dropped. Why was Santoki dropped? We may never know, only the selectors know. But Santoki, he continued his career and he played in the Bangladesh Premier League between 2018 and 2020. So Santoki was relatively decent in the Bangladesh Premier League, averaging just about 30, strike rate of 20, playing 8 matches, which is not too bad. As you can see displayed on the screen here, these are just Santoki's overall career of how his T20 career went as a bowler in BPL, CPL, International and also on the biggest global stage, the World Cup. Santoki had beautiful CPL numbers, beautiful international numbers and a very good World Cup. And so, Santoki he will always be remembered for his left arm slingy action almost like a left arm lasith malinga and for those slower balls and yorkers that he bowled so well in the power play and at the death overs in the innings krishmar santoki we wish you all the best in life going forward you have definitely made the caribbean and west indies cricket proud